Let's hit the portal. Look at the map here. Okay, so this is going to be a little weird. Okay. Oh, please don't back attack me. Oh, I fought a bunch of you before. Okay, so let's try to do a shoot attack on you. That makes it a little easier. Hey, I got a backward assassination there. That's good to know. I'm gonna do that. Oh, none of the cold stone flies.
is it? Sarah. Here's her status effects. Okay, this is a more manageable fight. it this way just to trip a spell and that way okay so the option for Cole gonna get a range assassinate him Guys, not, not you guys. Uh, how old the poison zombies? Poison gold, brother.
there were two familiar faces. The Dua and the Queens. No, the homunculus. Durgan, I thank you. By opening the door of this dimension, I'm able to materialize here. The Dua took a deep breath. I've been waiting for this moment. Waiting, gathering adventurers, waiting for the one who could pull out the sword of the Queen's guards. This time, I will get back Hotelier. Hotelier will resurrect as a perfect human. Monculus smiled, absorbing Ledua's words. That's right, I will become a human. I won't have to eat dragon hearts anymore. I can be Ledua's side as be by Ledua's side as a human. As a queen as the queen. Lewis Hogan started yelling in spite of himself. Chief, do you understand what you're doing? What could it do to resurrect a fake queen to this fake Duhan? You should know what Her Majesty wishes for. You're the one that, who understood Her Majesty more than anyone else, weren't you? But why are you? I'm glad I brought Colgan along. This is why I brought him. Dua's eyes looked even sharper. I'm not accepting Her Majesty's wish is to be free. It is death. Even if it's all fake, I cannot waste the Duhan Her Majesty loved. For the sake of Her Majesty, I cannot accept the, troop, the truth that I learned from the crystals. For that, re for that reason, I have wasted many lives in this labyrinth. For that reason, I have preserved Atelier's beautiful bot, beautiful body. So that's why you're afraid of us getting close to the crystals. You knew that knowing the truth, we would walk a different path than you. You and I, our paths shall never cross. But the path has led me to this dimension. Fate is on my side. The day I will do it, I have a quick smile. It was a grin of insanity. Do not get in my way. Protect Duhan and Horinus in my own way. The Dua and Homunculus disappeared in the emptiness. Alright, let's try it. Let's try the boss fight and see if we can do it. Okay, there we go. That. Oh, damn it, that's the X. That's the wrong one. Shoot. Okay. Okay, I know where I am now, so... Okay, so now how, so I know how, how, how I need to go to get out of here. Oh crap, not you. Nope, not you guys. And, and the heck with you. Okay. Wanna at least try the final boss fight or to wrap it up for the night.
Let's try running again. You take to drop off a specific tile. This one. This one takes me to the final boss fight. Even in this dangerous situation, something keeps me in deep emotion. I, a living corpse to a corpse who has lost his life or lost his pride, have come this far. It was all thanks to you. Through this adventure, I learned true bravery is born only when one has people to protect. I wonder how many people die without any regrets. I was lucky. But did not meet you, I would have rotted away at, just rotted away at that altar. It is only now that I can see that. I can see myself dying regretfully in despair and unable to make up for lost time. Now is it late? I will not one. I would like to say my thanks here. After speaking, Kyo bowed his head in deep gratitude. I'm unable to see you after this battle. My soul will never forget what you've done for me. Shall we go now? Before, I would have been happy training as a priestess. I work at the temple to help those in need. That's supposed to be my goal and dream in life, but that's not it. It really means that somewhere, someone is being saved. I can help others even if I didn't become a priestess deep down the labyrinth. We are incapable of living in this world alone. Memories came and went in Sarah's mind. The first time you met, the many battles against monsters, the various events that awaited the party. She as she recalled her memories as they faded away, one after another. If my soul were to be lost, I have no regrets. Sarah had a cheerful look on her face when she turned around. God may scold me for this, but there's, if there's one thing I regret, that I didn't meet you before the flash. Thank you for all the good time. Truth is, I detest battle. If I could, I would never want to use this power of destruction. But I am thankful now that the power to destroy that god. Ina looks straight into your eyes. You have taught me the importance of being optimistic even in times of despair. The way of life has given me the courage to fight. I will no longer be afraid, and will never look back. Whatever hardships await you in the present, you must awaken from your dream. There is no true happiness in a fabricated life. I will choose to fight beside you than to be influenced by a nightmare. I do not want to be a disgrace. Let us fall gallantly. With the color of determination in his beautiful eyes, she smiled proudly. Now let us sever this chain of tragedies. The sinister god, a strike of justice. You know, I have yet to apologize to you. Hogan quietly closed his eyes. I'd have believed in you. Would this tragedy have come about? If I knew the truth, could this have been avoided? Heh, <laughs> this is not like me. All I can think of is regret. If we can't change the past, then we must change the future. That's why I'm alive. I apologize to you. After everything is done. After we defeat this fiend and free, up, free all the souls, I will make it up to you as a friend. Hogan smiled awkwardly. So, Durgan, if you want an apology from me, win this battle. Now, this is the Queen Gar Queen's Guard's final battle. To all her majesties and to the spirits of all the Queen's Guards, be our witness. Behold this, the last battle of the Queen's Guards. Durgan and Colgan. In the name of the Queen's Guards, we shall save Queen Otelier's soul. This is the core of the dimension. The Dua and Homunculus were standing, facing the darkness. But now this is the time to fulfill my wish. I will transfer Her Majesty's soul from the Nucleus to Homunculus's body. Homunculus's face distorted. Transfer her soul? You're not going to use the queen's soul and make me a human? If you transfer her soul, what will... What will happen to me? The Dua doesn't answer. You said that you loved me. There was no other, didn't you? 
The reason we came here was to make me a true human. Isn't that what you... Statement is not false. Queen Atelier will regain her body and become a true human once more. No, no. I... I... Her function was preserved Queen Atelier's beautiful body. Today, that function ends. Dua! Stop it! Stop it! The voice of Atelier is only Atelier may call my name. Mongulus fell stiffly like a, like a doll, while Mongulus like all fell to her feet. Dua glared at the void with no interest in you or homunculus. Now god of the mad bishop, I've come to take back my hotelier. Uh, that's not gonna go well. Good luck with that. Darkness slowly spread throughout. That cannot be realized, foolish human. A voice sounding like the wind of Hades echoes through the void. She is an offering to me. We shall become one, a fragment of my soul. She shall be no longer. Nonsense! Darkness wavers as if to mock him. It is not nonsense. We are forever one. Our fate is one for eternity. Hearing these words, Ladua lost his temper. You didn't think through the whole, you know, what happens if, if it's, you know, not an available... <laughs> if you can't get the soul back. How dare you claim that you are with Atelier for eternity? The darkness wavered again. And it slowly started to form. The god you saw on the waves of memory appeared before you. Why do you thirst so much for this soul? God's eyes turned towards Homunculus. See, because of this. A body without a soul was destined to rot. I shall guide that fate. You will be able to let go if this body exists no more. Homunculus. Ah! And with just one word, Homunculus is engulfed in flames. Do it out a beastly scream. Atelier's body! Atelier's beautiful body! Homunculus slowly hugged Ladua. Before you could move, Ladua was also engulfed in flames. They were that you were instantly burnt to ashes by flames that died out shortly after. Their ashes scattered over the void. Foolish human, your soul has become one with mine. Now you can be with her with the with her for eternity. With my power, the soul of this land is forever unchanging. No longer as my power is with me, no longer shall souls be lost. All souls will become one with me, with me, and simply exist forever. For all eternity. Beyond with a, with a god, an unchanging soul. That is the wish of my creator. I am the one summoned for that purpose. Hushin spoke to the party. This is your destiny. Exist in the unchanging void with me. Or behold the true meaning of death. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.